Hello everyone! We have just released a new modus version, number 5. In this video, we will show the new functions, support for separate prediction factor versions for training and prediction periods, a basic model save load mechanism, and UI improvements. We won't discuss the basics – data preparation, model training, etc. They are covered in the main video mentioned in the description. I will also use the same data and example used in that video to provide clearer context. So, if you are new to Molusk, please watch the main video first. The first thing I will do is rebuild the project from the main video. Here I have two land cover maps of Slovakia for 2012 and 2017. And for predictors. Special variables explaining the change. Elevation slope proximity to roads, proximity to water, and proximity to urban land. In previous Molusk versions, it was only possible to use one version of the spatial variables. They were constant for the whole period. This was a serious limitation, because we couldn't take into account changes in these variables, such as changing infrastructure, climate change, and so on. For example, in our case, a couple of major roads appeared after the training period. Since we assume proximity to roads is an important factor influencing land cover change, it is important to use this new information for prediction. So, I have added a new layer containing proximity to this updated version of the roads, valid for the prediction period 2017 to 2022. We can compare these two maps. Uh, this is road proximity for period 2012 to 2017. And this is road proximity for the period from 2017 to 2022. And we can see the difference. New roads were built and are reflected in the new map. We also have construction plans. And we know that in the future several more major roads will be built. So, we have a third road layer and its proximity map, valid for the next period, from 2022 to 2027. Let me enable it and compare with previous versions. For simplicity, in this example, we will assume the other variables are unchanged. So, with this project, I start the basic Molusk workflow running the plugin, selecting initial and final land cover maps, and selecting road proximity, slope, urban proximity, and water proximity as special variables. Everything is good. Then I check correlations. Calculate statistics and transition metrics and create changes map. A detailed description of these steps is available in the main video. Next, I train the model using the ANN method with the same parameter values as in the main video. 5000 random points a single neighborhood, a 0 0.005 learning rate, 350 iterations, five hidden layers, and 0 0.01 momentum. Now I have a trained model of some quality and I can apply it to make a prediction. First, I select the path for the certainty function and simulation results. As usual, everything as usual. And here is a new interface, allowing us to set a separate version of the special variables for simulation. If I activate this checkbox, I need to select this new version of the special variables 
whose values will be used for prediction. I must provide the same number of variables as on the input tab and in the same order. In this case, first, first road proximity, then slope, then urban proximity and water proximity. So I use updated version of the road proximity layer and the same versions of other layers in the same order. Slope, urban and water. What I have just told Molusk is to take into account that road proximity has changed and for the simulation it should use the updated proximity values from this layer. After setting the new variable versions, I should run the consistency checker. It will check whether we have the same number of variables and whether they all have the same dim dimensions and number of bands, just to ensure that the trained model will receive correct data. Everything is good. Training variables and simulation variables are matched. Great. So now we can run the prediction considering the changed environment. This new powerful mechanism allows us to build much more complex analysis. It could be especially useful for long-term predictions where we need to consider change in climate, infrastructure and land use policies. And here is the result of prediction. The second important feature is the model save load functionality. In our case, we may want to make one more prediction for 2027. I could simply increase the number of simulation iterations to two and it would work, but without the ability to take into account that our spatial variables change between iterations. So what can I do? I can go back to the beginning, set 2017 as initial state and the simulated 2022 as final state and go through the whole process again. But I would be forced to train the model again and it would be a different model since random samples and iterative training are involved. But I want to keep the same model and here the save float mechanism is helpful. On the transition potential modeling tab with the trained model ready, I click save current model to file, choose a new file name and save it. The model was successfully saved. I can even close Mollusk and reopen it later. Now I will build a new workflow for the next period, 2017 as initial, simulated 2022 as final, with following predictors. Road proximity for this 2017 to 2022 period, slope, urban proximity and water proximity. After going through the all basic tabs, I go to the model training tab and click load model from file button, selecting the saved model. Mollusk shows all metadata and performs a compatibility check. You can only use the saved model if you have the same number of factors and input raster dimensions as when the model was saved. Since the model was successfully loaded, everything is ready. I can go to the simulation tab, set the output file for 2027 and provide the updated special variables. Broad proximity for this new period, followed by slope, urban and water proximity. After checking consistency, I run the simulation. So what have we done and what is now possible in Mollusk? We can simulate several iterations using the same model without retraining and on each iteration use special variables that are actual for the current simulation period. 
no more limitations with static predictors. We hope you will enjoy it. One more thing worth mentioning is a new option to copy and paste statistics and the transition matrix from the area changes tab. Let me show you. You can copy selected cells or the entire table. Just right click on it, select new option and use it in your favorite table processor. Here we are. That's all for the Mollusk 5 update. Stay in touch with Next.js. Thank you for your attention and bye.